All right, I want to do one more long division problem with you because I'm going to show you a long division problem and then I'm going to show you how to do the same problem by synthetic division, which I think you're really going to like. So I'm going to do, uh, see how many times x minus 2 goes into x cubed plus 2x squared minus 6x minus 9. So this is similar to what we were doing before. I'm going to see, what do I take times x to get x cubed? And that would be x squared. So I write it above the x squared. x squared times x is x cubed minus 2x squared. Subtract, these cancel. 2 subtract negative becomes positive. 4x squared, bring down your next term. What do I take times x to get 4x squared? I need a 4x, so I'm going to write it above the x term. So I get 4x squared minus 8x, and I'm going to subtract. These cancel. I know I'm going to subtract on these because it makes them cancel. Negative 6 subtract negative 8 really becomes plus 8. So negative 6 and plus 8 is 2x. Bring down your next term. What do you take times x to get 2x? You need a 2 right here. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 4, or 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. I subtract to get these to cancel, so this becomes a plus negative 5. So I have a remainder of negative 5 out of x plus 2. Let's remember this answer. It was x squared plus 4x plus 2 plus negative 5 over x plus 2. I want to show you a method called synthetic division. It is way easier than long division. And it works whenever this term is two terms and has a 1 right here. So it's very similar to synthetic substitution. So again, I'm going to copy the problem here so we can scoot the paper down. So I'm going to divide by x minus 2. So in my synthetic division box, it just, looks just like synthetic substitution. I'm going to put a 1 for the x cubed, a 2 for the x squared, a negative 6 for x, and negative 9 for the constant. Now, I'm going to have you just trust me right now, but I'll show you why in another lesson or two. If I'm dividing by x minus 2, that means I'm going to put a positive 2 in this spot right here. So it's the opposite of the sign that's right here. So let's do synthetic substitution then, or synthetic division. Bring down the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Notice I started with an x cubed. I divided out an x term. So what I would be left with is x squared. So this would be 1x squared plus 4x, plus 2, plus a remainder of negative 5 out of what I started with. Notice this answer looks just like this answer. It's a way easier method for doing long division. It's called synthetic division, and it works every time the thing that you're dividing by is two terms and has a 1 right here. 